OK, we're here at the Aboriginal Tent Embassy in Perth on Harrison Island, and I've got here an elder, uh, Uncle Ben. Uh, Uncle Ben, can you uh, tell us what this is about, please? Well, this is about the Maria on Harrison Island. It's the home of the, home of the Wadjuk and the Noongar people. And it's a dreaming track that runs along that river. The dreaming track is part of the Wagar. The Wagar is a rainbow serpent. For thousands of years, he's been part of culture, religion, and spirituality for the Aboriginal people. And it, as a kid, I came down here with my father to pay homage when I, he came down from Mora. And he talked to the Wagar in language and drew water. And he said, Wagar, Nidja Wal Kulaka, where in Kep, Mami, Nidja Wal and Jinnaman, Mama, he said, the spirit looked down upon us as I make peace to draw your waters. And, uh, so, you know, this was always part of the Noir dreaming. This part is hunting, fishing, catching turtles, Yeg and Yalagamba, Mejiguru. They were all special people for this area. Yeg and men are terrible and the head was cut off and taken away to England. Mm -hmm. We got one of the ladies here who brought his head back. A big trip over to England. I Liverpool, remember that, yes. Yeah. So, you know, today as we stand here, we are fighting against the native title and the, the Aboriginal Land Council trying to destroy our Mother Earth and sell it. You don't sell your mother. This is the heart, the court. Word wagon, the word and the Urvari and the wara, the birds, the animals, the crows, they all come here to show homage. They know. My father said when he was a boy, he came here born in 1900. And he's, he reckoned his old, his old father used to, his old granny used to get him to make a fire to call in the spirits. And this was done for thousands of years, you know, prime land along here. Today we're fighting for just a little bit of land. I am here today because I see my people suffer. And I know that I will stand with them. There's people now making a last stand because my father, they've taken everything, they've destroyed this land, you know, they've raped our women, massacred us all around Australia. They have. That Union Jack, or what do you call it, the flag, when I look at it, it just brings dispossession, dispossessed us of this land, stolen our children, and to stand under that flag, I'll burn that flag today. Anytime you give me that one, you I'll help you, mate. <laughs> because my brother-in-law fought the Japanese, and he came back. What good did that flag do him? He died on the reserve in a camp. And he said the Japanese brutalized him and all. When he came back, he faced more racism. And you know, as you heard Lady of Pep Morrison said her father was on the Burma Railway. He came back. And as I said, it was another Aboriginal. He passed away now with Ancient Orange. You know, Vietnam, his wife was here. He arrived back full uniform. Went to a country town in Narragin where he came from. They locked him up. For no reason, no reason at all, just because he's Aboriginal. And as I sit here, this is very, bring back strong spiritual feeling in me. Yeah. I can feel the spirit as a fire, you know, yeah. here, all around us. 
Where, gentlemen? As young Joe said, the spirits are strong. Uh, well, thanks very much for your interview, Uncle Ben. You're welcome. This is John Gilm signing out for the Socialist Party. Power to you.